Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I am the Incubed today. We're playing some Timber Stone, Lavender's Lay, season three. Fantastic. My voice started to go then. If you're not going to hear the like the little cringling right there. Cringling is that word? I'm not too sure if it is. It's a word now. Cringling right there in the throat area. You could definitely hear it. I feel like I'm going slightly insane. That's pretty fantastic. Look at this. <laughs> look at this. I feel like that's mandatory to say now. Every single time I start a session, I just say, look at this. Fantastic. Sounds like my usual life as well. That's pretty fantastic. There we go. Uh, a little bit of insight right there. Uh, I think that's pretty great. Last episode. What did we do? Well, well, last session. What did we do? We created the base layer for our blacksmiths, kind of. We still got a few selections to actually finish off around here, including the little spot right there. Spot right there for some umber brick. We've also got a little station here for our, um, well, possible tailors. Well, not possible tailors. It's going to be our tailors. We just need to sort it out. Also, this uh, little fence bit right here is not going to connect. Not too sure why. Merv, also, inside his cage, rattling around a little bit. He was calm just a second ago, and now he's going a little bit nuts, which is always fantastic. And, of course, our workshop, which is what we're going to be primarily focusing on today. I said primarily there. I might have, You might have heard me say primarily, which... That is a lie. Uh, also, I'm waiting for him to get out of the cage so I can close it. Oh, he's out. Come on, there we are. Hello. No, he's in front of the microphone, but he's just sort of. Oh, my, my camera's going off into the distance right there. Fantastic. I haven't really prepared. I did say last episode that I would finish off the flooring here. Or at least I believe I said something to that nature. Um, I didn't get round to it. And let's be honest, who's surprised? Uh, what we'll be doing though, like I said, is working on the workshop. I'm not too sure why, I just I just feel like I want to get this area sort of done and dusted with. There's still quite a lot of ground that we need to use up. I'm not really too sure how. I feel like this should be some sort of stockpile. Like if we just change the, all this to wood, have some sort of uh, layer around it, and then just fill it with crates and hay bales and just lots of random stuff. I like the idea of that. Probably do the same thing here. I'm not really too sure. I just want to make it look like some sort of industrial, even though it's a militarized sector. But at the same time, that's going to sort of be the industrial sector, as it were. You know, we're playing City Skylines, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Land of Us, City Sky Skylines. Let's just uh, go down right here. Make sure we're not getting... Oh, is that a new person? Oh, we got a new miner. Oh, fantastic. How many people is that now? 36. Okay, so um, we can get 13 more people after this. After all, uh, 50 people is the maximum. That's pretty fantastic. Also, 50 people, I would say, is a decent amount of space. Well, a decent amount of people to use up all that space. Probably get a mod to increase it, but that means the Eternal Light mod will be having to be removed. So, let's see. It's charismatic, courageous, and... Oh, he's disloyal. So, people have told me that it's about time I just stop accepting people to accept them. And instead, accept them if they have good traits. Disloyal, I'm not too sure how that really plays a part. Something tells me he stops doing anything after a little while. However, he's char charismatic and courageous. I feel like disloyal sort of gets rid of the um, the courageous part, to be honest with you. So he can't really be any sort of uh, military personnel. I think a miner is fine. I don't really mind too much. From mine too much. <laughs> uh, yeah, mine is pretty good. Let's keep him as that. We currently don't have any builders on site, to my knowledge. Nope, we don't have any whatsoever. We should probably get a few of these changed, but... We're getting this mining era sorted out, so we're really just waiting for that to uh, take place. I'm saying I'm going err a lot, you know. Eh, uh, oh, I wanna know. If you be my slay, um, <laughs> there we go. Fantastic flooring. Uh, you can buy the uh, new hit single right there for uh, 9.95. Uh, not really too sure if it's really worth the price. Also, it's not in um, dollars, pounds, or anything. It's in a new form of currency that is designed to screw you over. Um, yeah. <laughs> Pretty great, I would say. It helps me out, definitely. Let's make sure we get all of these roads sorted out, or at least, um, paved out. I keep saying, um, I just noticed that. Very, um, annoying, um. <laughs> there we go. Oh, he's a funny guy. All right. So, we haven't completely walled this area off. Um, it's about time we do so. I just did it again. It's very annoying. It's getting on my nerves very, very quickly. So, I think we're using the timbered brick here. Yeah, timbered brick. It's been so long since we actually worked on the walls. Walls are always that one thing I just don't pay too much attention to, which is quite unfortunate, to be honest. It's a very important part of the building process, as we all know. And it keeps us safe, which is uh, probably the most important part about it. However, we have, uh, for the most part, defended ourselves, since most of these walls only have two layers up. Pretty much we're defended from every single position now. 
Uh, yeah, I think we are, actually. That is pretty much the only point that we have left. And that was only open to help the infantry go through, but we don't need it anymore, to be honest with you. Since our infantry, infantry can pretty much do whatever they can and get to anywhere they want without any real uh, hesitance. Well, uh, any real barrier, as it were. Also, the castle area. Don't worry, I'll get to it. <laughs> I'm going to get to it. I just need to finish off making sort of all of the buildings in our realm, as it were, our realm, they are important. I feel like getting the carpenters sorted out, mm. getting the carpenters sorted out, the blacksmith, the tailors, all the class houses, and maybe the guilds as well, sort out before we actually get the castle done. Also, maybe a few more people, because I want to have about 20 people being building, well, 20 people building this thing. And it's going to take a long time. Like I said, it might be something that's being done in the live stream. But at the same time, I don't really want it to be done in the live stream. Just because it's very important. You know what I mean? Live stream stuff's usually walls. You know, wall walls are important, don't get me wrong. But the process of building them is not. So, <laughs> so there we go. Uh, I feel like I've got my priorities straight right there. I also, I heard a spider, which was very disconcerting. I'm not going to lie. It, it sounded like a... Like a... I'm not just sure if spiders hiss. Or, you know, go... Like they fang. Like that. I'm not just sure. Maybe a rattlesnake. <laughs> what the hell noise was that? What the hell was that? Also, I just forgot that um, timbered brick trimless is absolutely beautiful. I've fallen in love with um, with timbered brick uh, trimless right there. It kind of. I kind of wish I used it for the wall, to be honest with you, because I think it looks very nice. Like maybe instead of using the umber brick, we use the trimless brick instead. It just looks so good. I'm just trying to figure out if I can use it in any reasonable manner. I think I also wanted to get rid of this because it was too close to the town centre. I'm annoyed, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very much annoyed. The town centre is just awkwardly placed. Wait, is it? We could have it stretch along this entire wall, actually, now that I think about it. It would be a very big town centre. That's not. I'm not going to lie right there. It's just like, what is a town hall? But it looks like the town hall is probably going to be about here now. Since I wanted it to be a decent size and putting it here really isn't going to be a decent looking size. Who are you? You are the trader, I believe. Hawk, yep. Once again, wait, what's your status to say normal? I didn't realize there was a status bar. Is that status or status? Status sounds right to me. Status sounds like uh Status sounds like a band. We are status. <laughs> That's uh, what it's always a band, isn't it? Hmm. I'm not sure why that is. But we'll get used to it. Also, let's get the Do we want stone floors or wood floors? It's a very important question, because I feel like there's a lot of machinery being built in here. Um, but I'm not just sure if they're going to be using... <laughs> I, just, I was about to say, I'm not sure if they're using solderers or anything. No, I don't think so. We're not really living in that age. So, let's just, just assume they're using hammers and nails in order to make this siege equipment. So, we'll go ahead and we'll make some brick... Uh, well, not brick, uh, some wooden flooring. I think it's a very good idea, even though we've got quite a lot... Well, not very much wood at all, actually. What kind of wood do we want to use? I feel like the floor is pretty good. It's dark, which I think is why it's a good idea. It suits the aesthetic. We're going to make sure we got the building. Uh, not the building. The floor. Yeah, start that again. The doorway's done. Since we want a doorway in all of these rooms. And we'll make sure that a wall, well, a floor actually exists where the doorway is going to be. And this house has five doorways by the looks of it. It's quite a lot. You know, one, two, three, five. I would say it's pretty good. This front entrance right here is going to be some sort of siege storing location. We'll have a few barrels in here. We can pretend they're like gunpowder or something. Not really gunpowder, but like explosives. Uh, or maybe a few boulders. Oh, yeah, of course. We can have a few of these. Oh, no. I forgot. They're masonry stockpiles now, ain't they? Are they not, I mean? Oh, that's a shame. I, I, got, I forgot that in the original, I say original, 1.5.2. Uh, or any time after one point, uh, before 1.6, the stonemason storage was just a, a bundle of rocks. That would have been a little bit more interesting. I wish, I hope they actually bring that back in. I would like to have multiple storage options for everything, really. Maybe it does exist, and I'm just going insane. Let's actually find out before I start talking bullshit. Masonry. So the stockpile's right there. Uh, resource crate. Use we resource crates. But I say we source then. I like it. Get on the we saw, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like all of our miners have actually completed their job, which is pretty good to see. So what we'll go ahead and do is change them all, and I do mean all, into builders. Let's just be careful here, because last time we did this too quickly, it turned the herder into a class that we did not want them to be. Which meant 
I thought I just turned everyone into a blacksmith then, which meant we had a few issues, including the unfortunate collapse of our animals. Uh, I say collapse, they just died, which wasn't great. Also, Islay right here. You know what, Islay? Oh, we got a wheat problem, apparently. Still, we have a wheat problem. Look at all this. This is absurd. I'm not just sure what I'm going to do. I could put it on Wheat Island. That's ridiculous. I'm not going to make a Wheat Island. Although it sounds very wheaty. Uh, maybe it's where we make our wheat picks. Uh, not really. Um, that sounds a bit like product place placement. I'm not going to lie. Disclaimer, not being paid to say that. Um, uh, you know, and draw on the Wheat Abix. Uh, wheat Abix. I, see, I say Wheat Abix. It's Wheat Abix. Uh, I just always miss that T right there. That's America for you. Americans did that to me. How dare you? American TV. Get, get your horrible. Yeah. <laughs> Get your horrible... Yeah! That's right. I didn't mean that. Uh, <laughs> I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that at all. Kind of did. Did he? Did he not? I'm like zoomed in right now. I'm just... Imagine me looking at you with sort of that varying degree of um, mistrust. I like that. Also, how much... We have... Are we all using the top... Toppest weapons? The toppest... Toppest weapons. A broad sort... Oh, no. You, you're not. And I imagine someone else already is, but you're probably sleeping right now. Hopefully you are. Wherever you are. Okay. You know where. That's fine. That's fine. I'm happy. Uh, my voice went then. Just a little bit. Where is he? Oh, you're down there. Okay. I guess you just got out of bed. Yeah, you got a broadsword as well. So is Lei going to make that broadsword? Also, you probably want to go ahead and make a few... Oh, to tell you the truth, we've not been using these halberds, have we? So let's see, halberd does 22 damage, 20% critical chance, 4 mass. Okay, the broadsword does 30 damage. Okay, well, broadsword's better then, isn't it? <laughs> Is it? Surely. It doesn't actually tell you the damage on the longbow, or any of the bows, by the looks of it. It just tells you the range. That's a bit of a, a miss right there. Once again with the ears. All oh, right, because the, the arrows are what, what does the damage. Okay. A little bit silly now. The blister's 200 damage. That's pretty cool. What's the highest damage arrow? It looks like it's the broadhead. Oh, no. The fire arrow does more, but it's cheaper. Yeah, the fire arrow is significantly cheaper. Maybe it's because it can cause some destruction of your buildings if you miss. Something tells me that's something we're going to have to try and avoid. <laughs> might be a good idea. Also, um, this higher level armor might be a good idea to give to our people. The arm right, arm rit. Let's see. It looks like you're all actually wielding one of those. Oh, no, you're not. So let's go ahead and give Farkas one of those. Now, I know you're all using the lowest level armor you can actually, well, get. You, not the lowest level, but you're all using, like, Hachbrechs. <laughs> sure. Sure, like, if we just click on you, you just went to get the broadsword. Uh, you got the, we'll call it a Burke right now. The Burke, Breastplate, and uh, Burke again. Wolf's apparently spotted by Slay Wolf. That's quite apt. It's quite an apt description. So we want all of you to get the crass right there. However, we'll need to get a lot more of the stone uh, strong ingots. I know there's a wolf. I did just say that. And I'm not afraid because it's a wolf. Well, I'm a bit afraid, but we don't tell people that. We need to make a few more of these solid ingots. Let's see. We can get a six. No, five, not six. And out of these, we've actually run out quite quite quickly with uh, all of these stuff. However, that's fine because we make quite a lot of these standing ingots, which definitely helps out. It might be a good idea to get someone else to start doing blacksmithing though. That might be the uh, the chance we can actually take in order to get Islay to start doing something else. I like the idea of Islay being the blacksmith, don't get me wrong, but Islay must be the jack of all trades. Probably get her to do some tailoring, that might be a good idea. So I might just leave that for now. Well, can't really leave it for now. I'll get 30 of them because I want to make these strong ingots and we need quite a few in order to get this uh, job done. Um, we'll make, we can make five more strong ingots, but that is really about it. We'll make sure to put the... Well, no, they should really skip to the one that they can actually do stuff with. Right, wolves, where are you? You're near Slay Wolf, apparently. And let's that... Um... Oh, there you go. There's some wolves right here. Slay Wolf is apparently... The herd. I did not know that. I think the wolves can get over this, and he's probably going to start killing all these animals. That is... Oh, right. You're the um, the wolf that's been terrorizing us for about seven years. I like it. I, I like it. What we should do is instead just get all of our farmers down here to beat the everlasting shit 
out to this wolf. Oh, no, look, the wolf's actually just trying to bash down the gate. I like it. Right, so Slay Wolf and hopefully these farmers just go ahead and just completely eviscerate this wolf. So if you want to just charge the enemy, let's get a Z903, Chris, and Slay Wolf right here to just go and teach this wolf mother trucking lesson. The farmers have to be, uh, defeated wolves in the past. They are very easy to kill. Here we are. There we are. Beautiful. Very clean kill. Um, unfortunately, a chicken was killed. That is uh, quite unfortunate. However, we'll just go ahead and try to construct ourselves the wall that was unfortunately perished in that epic fight. Let's see. The timbered... Wait, what am I going for here? The fence gate. Here we go. Beautiful. We'll put that in. It's going the other way now, I believe. That's fine. We don't worry about that. Looks like the... Oh, that's, a... that's very nice flooring. I like that. It's very dark. So the timbered floor is what we will be going for. Uh, also, we want to go ahead and get the paving uh, paved stone gray sorted out over there. Also, we're going to need some more minerals in order to create these door... Oh, wait, no, we're not. I'm pretty sure we just need wood for low-level doors. I was thinking about using the uh, dungeon doors. That's not what we're going for. I love the dungeon doors, by the way. I just want to say that once again. I just think they're very nice. Very well designed. It's a very terrible way of describing something, isn't it? It's like... It's the go-to way. It's... Like, oh, it's very nice. It's very well designed. Like, you'd say that about everything. What, what do I really think about it? I like its differentiation in shape. It's not just a flat surface. You can see that there's multiple dimensions being used there. It's very nice. But there's also a mix. There's a good mix between 2D and 3D right there, which I very much appreciate. I think it's a very nice design. There you go. That's my, uh, my, my take on it. That's what I like about the dungeon doors. Probably my favorite door type at the moment, just because they are detailed in a very particular way that I quite enjoy. Obviously, that is an objective opinion, however, and it will not be everyone's opinion. And I would, uh, I would say, listen to what everyone else has to say about that. There we go. Life lessons with the innkeeper, ladies and gentlemen. Also, I think it's a good idea to use the pavestone brown here. It's a good, it's a good choice. I think it's a good start as well. Anyway, let's double check what we've got because I think we've got. If we go to walls right here, we've got the field stone, which is something we've not used too much of. What have we done over here? Oh yeah, we used the flat stone. Okay, I think that's a good idea to be honest with you. I think the flat stone is much better looking. Also, there's a nice contrast with the blocks that we're currently using, being the timbered brick and the umber brick. So we'll continue onwards. It should mostly be wood. Uh, I think the first layer is going to be stone, and then the second layer is going to be wood, because I think it'll be a nice aesthetic. Probably be a Tudor house design as well. Maybe. I think it's going to mostly be a Tudor house design. I'm not going to lie, ladies and gentlemen. I think it's just a beautiful looking design, especially for roofs. It's just very nice, and the game gives it to us. It's my favorite housing, just housing design. There we go. So I thought I'd just explain myself there before anyone else sort of jumps to any conclusions. Something tells me the audio is going to be weird. I have uh, sort of a... Oh, cobblestone grey would be fantastic here. Yeah, we're going to use the cobblestone. No, we're not. Cobblestone grey feels like it's the... It's the kind of thing you would use in a bridge. Maybe uh, the underlayer of a bridge. But pavestone brown, it just... It feels like it's got to be a flat surface, surely, for siege equipment. But it's... Okay, so we got pavestone brown, or... Cobblestone brown doesn't look right to me. I think we're going to use pavestone brown, because it looks a little bit more industrialized. I think that's why I'm going to choose that. There we are. Also, there's a little bit of pavestone grey that we're missing out on right there. Also, it does help being uh, slightly similar to the road itself, so it makes itself looks uh, well, makes itself look a little more attached. We wanted to make some sort of arc, uh, arch right here, I believe. Do we kill all the wolves? We, we killed, we killed that like, one wolf that was on Wolf Island right there. So it looks like it's no longer Wolf Island. We'll keep our eye open right there. Um, that should be pretty fantastic. Also, um, <laughs> I just wanted to point that out. We're going on a very, very f slow speed right here. Huh? What's that? Nothing. Nothing happened. What are you talking about? It was smooth. That's all I'm saying right now. It was smooth. I should really put a staircase up here. I think that'd be a good idea now that I think about it. How would I get that to work efficient? I won't be able to get it work efficiently. It'd have to be like a very awkwardly done staircase. Or I can have it dent in a little bit on the wall right here. It might be something I do. I'm not too sure. 
Well, I feel like I'd rather them just go down the staircase that I've already provided to them in the original design. I forgot we've got a weak problem. Okay, let's go ahead and... Ugh, this weak problem's a pain. It really is. I need to get around to building this underground layer where I could just throw all my wheat. For now, I'm just going to continue doing what I'm currently doing, which is to just throw it all over here. So if we go to storage, we go to wheat. There we are, beautiful. I forgot to mention, I'm also still using the Eternal Light mod. It seems more people prefer it. Um, I prefer it myself, I'm not going to lie. I did say that I would try and also between them. We'll, we'll see what happens there. I feel like it's a good idea to also between them, but we're going to do a lot of building uh, lately. We've been doing a lot of building lately, and having the light on all the time is very, very helpful. And also, keeps the spirits high. You know, there's no off time. Usually when it's dark, there's uh, a little bit of off time. Which is not something we really appreciate. Or at least I don't appreciate it. I'm not going to lie. You know, I want to get a lot of work done. As you can see right here though. The timbered floor looks absolutely fantastic. It's a nice design. It'll probably take us uh, the three episodes to actually create this. I'm not going to lie. Uh, even then it might take longer. But we'll try and get it done as quick as we possibly can. Let's go to our objects right here. Let's get a door. So we do have the timbered door. Do we want something a little bit better? Like maybe the braced door? Like maybe the front doors should be braced. We have studded right here. A strong door reinforced with metal studs. Or the braced door, which is a sturdy door braced in metal. I don't think I've seen the braced door, so I think gonna, I kind of want that. Just the front doors, though. The rest can actually be timbered. And the back one also can stay timbered. What's the difference here? Uh, this one uses extra... Extra standard ingots. We're making a few, of, a few of these standard ingots. And what do we have right now? Nine. So we can make two of these fairly easily, and I think I'm going to go for the studded doors. There we are. This is just aesthetic. It's a tool shop, so I feel like it's a good idea. Then the rest can actually just be timbered doors, especially the back door as well, since it doesn't matter too much. And like I said, this is going to be where the engineer lives, so one of these is going to be where the beds go. Actually, the beds are probably going to go in both of these, and then I'll try and make some sort of weird workshop design in here. It'll probably have a lot of workstations that carpenters and that lot will, can use, which will be quite unfortunate, but I'm just going to use it as an aesthetic, which hopefully won't get in the way too much. So let's see, what do we want to do here? Well, I'm probably not going to go for the Tudor design, and it's only going to be one floor. It's going to be sort of, well, it's going to be one floor. Also, I quite like this uh, this grey right here, the pavestone, not grey, the brown, pavestone brown. It's quite nice looking. I think it's going to help the front actually, uh, well, differentiate itself, differentiate itself from the uh, land around it and hopefully have it connected properly with the main building as you can see. So we should probably get going on the second layer. How do we want this second layer to really go? Because uh, something's telling me that I want to have some sort of outside brick involved. I'm not really too sure. Something tells me it'd be a good idea, at least design wise. Hmm. Maybe it's a case of we keep building with the umber brick on these corners. And then in the center, we go for something a little bit different. If we go for the umber brick right here, let's go up by... Oh, the brace doors look fantastic. Look at that. That's really nice looking. It is just 2D though, which is why I still prefer the normal dungeon door. But it's very nice. I like it. They did a lot of uh, nice designs with doors, which is not something you hear very often. All right. So let's go up by, I think we're going up by four. Yeah, four right there. Merv's a bit leery right now, I do have to apologise for that. You know, he's just feeling a bit, you know, adventurous, that's all it is. Uh, we'll go ahead and have some umber brick around the doors as well. So I feel like we need them around the doors. Just at all the corners. It's going to be fairly high up, so really it should be, should be higher than that, really. Is that high? I feel like I'm getting a bit too high here, but we're going to go for it. We're going to go for the four still. Four. There we go, four. There we go, the four high. The problem with it being four high is that we are one block lower on these doorways, but we can probably, probably try and sort something out with that. So the front right here, we're going to keep it as stone, uh, completely as umber brick. There we are. We don't want it to look like a castle. The remaining areas are just going to look like a normal house, a kind of wood design. Around here we want to have a proper doorway as well. 
I guess that's what we'll end up doing there. That's fine. And then we'll go four up on this part at the same time. Like I said, we're going four up again. Let's make sure we got a little connector right here, connector right here. And that these parts go up by four. There we are. I'm just trying to make something that's a little bit different, you know. That's half the game right now. Try to be a little bit original with my designs. But still sort of make something that is similar to real life. That way, you don't have any difficulty really comparing it to anything. But at the same time, you look at it and think, okay, it's not exactly the thing that he's comparing it to, but it's close enough. <laughs> There we go. That's my reasoning right there. Just going to pause right here because we do see some wolves in the distance. Just going to make sure that there are no wolves trying to flank us. Doesn't look like it. We seem to be pretty clear right now. Uh, let's see what we got right now. We got four wolves plus the one over here that is all by themselves. Oh no, the two over there. Not by themselves. They're in fact probably doing something they shouldn't be. Well, should be. It's all part of nature, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just move Stuart and I think this is Usk. Yep, Usk up here. I, can all I always know when it's Usk. You know, I feel like there's a sense of leadership nearby. Whenever Usk is within clicking range, I always feel like I'm safe, you know. Leader is nearby. <laughs> Great leader is nearby. <laughs> there we go. I feel like that's a, a joke on, on particular regions of the planet right there. I'm not just sure if maybe I'm being a little bit too insensitive. I do have myself a particular drink right now, which I have not yet opened, which is uh, orange in flavor and uh, sparkling in bodliness. Sparkling and bubbliness. I like it. I like I, every drink should have a bubbliness rating. Pretty much, it'll give you like all the calories and the, everything else involved, the insaturates, sugars, all that stuff. But at the same time, bubbliness, bubbliness. Oh no, can two of them defeat four, or are they just gonna retreat? I actually don't know. They seem to be alright. There we go. I think Usk was a bit scared there. Seem to be fine. There's a, a bit of lagging of... What the hell? Okay. They were a little bit... Strange there. I'm not gonna lie. They were having a little bit of targeting issues themselves. But oh well, that's fine. We're just gonna get rid of these wolves. Even though it's probably wiser for us to... Actually get them on our side. Since finding leather from animals is quite... Frustrating to do. However, we're gonna ignore that advice that we've given ourselves a very, very long time ago. Do we have any more lumberjacks? Yeah, we do. Um, I guess we just haven't selected any trees to be cut down. All these trees are good to go now. That's pretty good. So we'll go ahead and get these all chopped down. There we are. Chop down the mature. And we'll do here as well. Well, we'll, we'll chop down all these trees at the same time. Make sure that we have enough wood to keep the furnaces going. Oh, our soldiers right now are moving all the way back up. Let's make sure they're stuck together. Anyway, I was on about our juice drinks right here. I'm not going to open it yet. But something tells me I should open it now. I've also got water. But I shouldn't open it because it's got high bubbliness. Which is not good. Mm. Here we go. Not high bubbliness. It's got like mid to range bubbliness. Which is never good anyway. It should have it should have zero bubbliness is what I'm trying to say. No bubbles. Okay. No, unless unless it's um, from the, the legendary uh, Powerpuff Girls. Then you know all the bubbles. Bring on all the bubbles. <laughs> there we go. That, is, uh, that was quite the show. Had good morals. I think that's why. Right, here we go. The fight begins. Fantastic. Pretty good. There we are. Also, uh, I revealed a part of my childhood. There we go. Including uh, various other cartoony antics. Including the uh, the kids next door. Just um, over there in that giant tree. Which is pretty fantastic, I would say. Just watch out for the mustaches. Which is pretty good. All these all these references. Let's just throw it all out. Has anyone watched Courage Cowardly Dog? Don't. It will scare the shit out of your kid. It scared the shit out of me. Also, I'm swearing right now, which I really do apologize about. Not really. Oh, wow, this looks good. <laughs> this looks really good. I like that design right there, and I do like how there's a little bit of moss underneath. I'm very happy with what we've done with the umber brick right here. I think it's a very wise idea. However, how does it... What's the word I'm looking for right now? <laughs> I'm always looking for some, some sort of word. Feels like some form of clarification. You know, I need to make myself feel like I'm doing the right thing. Oh, full timber has to be it. I feel like full timber is going to work. What's the word I'm looking for right now? It's it's not coming to mind. I, I do apologize right now. Sometimes this happens to me. You know, it happens to me more than just sometimes. But we're just going to get this sorted out right now. As I said, it's only going to be one layer. I'm going to get this done fairly quickly, actually. But it's only going to be one layer. And then maybe not. The roof is going to be the issue that we're really going to have. And that's going to cost us wood as well, which I don't think we too, we will have enough root of uh, what? Enough wood for this. We're also going to try and make ourselves a trebuchet, which, uh, there you go. It's going to be quite difficult for us to do. Um, are we all good? We all seem to be a little bit 
Meet me Larry right now. I'm gonna walk to my desired location. Okay, if anyone could just move. 